what I, I decided to talk about pasties because uh, Joe and Barry had been talking about pasties on Twitter, and I thought, well, you know, pasties are a food that are very popular in Michigan, so I'll send some out to the Roundup. And then I posted that I ordered some, and a few Twitter friends kind of wondered what I was talking about. So, the pasty. It rhymes with nasty, but it's not. So, <laughs> pasties are made historically out of meat and potatoes. Usually they have rutabaga, and there's no sauce. So it's basically a pot pie without sauce. So you make these at home. The easiest way is to use Pillsbury uh, pie crust. Anyways, and I'll have a recipe in a few minutes. Here's the recipe. Um, so you mix steak and pork, whatever. You can also just use hamburger sauce. Carrots, onions, potatoes, rutabaga. Have you seen rutabagas? If you don't like rutabagas, don't worry about it. Anyways, salt, pepper, and pie crust. And you just cut the pie crust in half, put your stuff in, roll them up, cook them in the oven. This is not a diet food. <laughs> Passes originally, originally came from Cornwall, England, where the tin miners ate them because it was a very convenient food to take them into the mine. And there was this old legend about how they never ate the end that they held onto. And um, there was some legend about uh, some ghosts in the mine that they needed to give these to so that they would, you know, be uh, okay in the mine. Uh, turns out that it was probably a really smart thing because there, there was some arsenic in the mine that might have been transferred to them if they had eaten these because that's where their hands were touching. Um, the Michigan connection. So in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, there's a huge mining area. Um, a lot of miners, when the tin mining kind of fell off in Cornwall, came over um, for the copper mining boom in the Upper Peninsula. And so um, they brought pasties with them. Oh, by the way, this picture is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's that part that sits up and attaches to Wisconsin. You might know Michigan by the, by the mitt, but um, we really do have... It's 22 hours. <laughs> both the mitt, you can look at Michigan like this, the hand, and then up here, there's another peninsula, and this is the, this is the Keweenaw Peninsula where pasties are very popular. <coughs> History, portable. It, it, these food stayed hot all day in the miners' buckets that they took into the mines. They were able to eat them. Um, post mining, even though a lot of people from Cornwall left the area, the Finns and the Swedes that had settled in the area pretty much kept on the pasty as a food that was very popular there. Um, this picture is actually of um, folk float copper, um, and this was mined in the Keweenaw Peninsula. So, how are Joe and Barry finding out about pasties? And it turns out that both of them were in the Phoenix area, where there's this pasty shop in Mesa, Arizona. Oh, and Tempe too. That um, is called CornishPasticco.com, and they have these. Not only the traditional pasties that I've described, but these fancy pasties. And fancy pasties I've never seen. Um, they have this, rest, this uh, menu here with uh, Cajun pasties and chicken alfredo pasties. This is blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> if Joe and Barry were hoping I was bringing fancy pasties, they would be very disappointed. <laughs> so tomorrow um, for the progressive dinner, we'll have I, have, I bought 12 pasties and I shipped them here. These are not things that you probably want to eat the whole thing. So we'll just split them up and everybody can have some There's 11 for everyone else. What's that? There's 11 left for everyone Joe says there are only 11 got here. Anyways, but they're not the fancy pasties. They're the traditional meat and potatoes pasties. And um, I don't know if you like them or not, but uh, I do. I do with ketchup. Uh, Jason tells me. Where'd Jason go? Uh, maybe, oh, there he is. Jason eats his with ketchup and pickles. Some people use gravy. Um, anyways. The miners really just ate them plain because they held them in their hands when they were eating the mines. So they didn't have all this fancy ketchup and pickles and all this other stuff. Anyways, um, if you want more information, you can go to pasty.com. That's where I ordered the pasties from. You can go to this blasphemous site, CornishPastyCo.com. <laughs> and you can get the, the recipe that I published as well as many more at the Michigan Tech um, Pasty Recipe site, which is the last one on this list. That's all I have.